Well, the coast made it to the warm spot out there today. You can see North Bend making it up to 46 degrees there. So not too warm, but still the warmest spot across the state. Up to Newport, we made it up to 43 degrees. That was also the high today in Eugene. Roseburg, a degree warmer. Corvallis, a degree cooler. But the rest of the state, very chilly conditions once you get over the Cascades. 27 degrees was the high today in Bend. Even out to Central Oregon, 27 in John Day, 26 in Burns. Also some upper 20s as you head to the north and west or eastern portion of the state. Here's a look at current temperatures. We have fallen below freezing along I-5. You can see sitting at 31 in both Corvallis and Eugene, 30 degrees in Cottage Grove, 37 in Roseburg. But very chilly conditions. Odell Lake now at 10 degrees, Lapine 14 degrees, and Ben sitting at 18 degrees. And we're still going to see these temperatures fall as we head into tonight. Very chilly conditions ahead of us. Now here's a look at what we have going on. We had some clouds out there throughout the day today, but plenty of breaks. Now those clouds are headed out even more. We're looking at plenty of clear skies, especially in the western portion of the state. You can see a few peaks of the stars out there. But with these clear skies and also a light wind tonight, we are looking at some fog to form and also some areas of freezing fog. Now, freezing fog is when you have temperatures below freezing. If that fog does come in contact with some objects, we may actually see some ice form about on those objects that are below freezing. So that is something to look out for as we head into tonight. May actually cause some slick spots along the road tomorrow morning. Morning. Now what we have going on big picture wise we're still under the influence of this trough that we looked at yesterday that jet stream shooting well to the south and this means we are still in unstable flow. That's why we do have some clouds still out there. But this ridge is going to move in as we head into the back half of the weekend or Sunday. That's going to bring us dry conditions. Now, one thing we are looking at is this low pressure system here. It's going to slide right along the jet stream, right along the coast as well. Bring us a slight chance for an isolated shower along the coast. In the rest of the area, though, it is very slim. Most of the moisture will continue to stay off over the ocean. We should stay dry across the area tonight and tomorrow. So along on the coast looking at low to mid 40s on Saturday starting off with some fog and isolated shower chance otherwise mostly cloudy by Sunday though that ridge will build on in partly sunny skies starting off the day with some fog as well but we're looking at more sun in the afternoon high temperatures climbing into the upper 40s for the Umpqua Basin low 40s starting off with the fog as well an isolated shower chance by Sunday partly sunny skies all the way through next week high temperatures climbing each day will be in the mid to upper 40s by midweek for the Cascades 20s over the passes 30s in the foothills starting off with that fog as well out to central Oregon partly sunny skies another chilly day high temperatures will be near 30 degrees as we head into Sunday or excuse me Saturday night will fall to 10 degrees again warming up to 30 degrees on Sunday then another 10 degrees to start off Monday and then we're looking at temperatures to slowly climb high temperatures and low temperatures that is as we head into next week for the valley upper 30s near 40 starting off with some fog and isolated shower chance as well but otherwise we should stay mostly cloudy on Saturday partly sunny on Sunday and temperatures will slowly climb as we head into next week into the mid to upper 40s. Chilly mornings there, Marissa. Yes, very, very chilly, especially tonight. We're already below freezing. <sighs> Thanks, Marissa.